first thing we'll do is um, show you where the VR interface exists. Um, under, my, under your 3D DAS library, it'll come under props. So you'll click on props and then you'll look for my vendor name which is Midnight Stories and then there'll be another directory called VR inter Interface. Now the first things you'll see in this directory is the, the main elements of the product. Um, the first one is um, a background camera. It's, it's sort of like a, a, a pre, it's, a, it's a preset scene so if you click on it it loads it straight in um, and this will, ha as in the scene, you'll see radio. it's got a background camera so make sure um, you've got your, that, that set when you um, first load it and also it's got the um, a cylinder which you're actually sitting inside so if you view this from the top this is actually just there's the background there there's the cylinder and you'll the the camera will um, sit outside it which um, yeah it takes a bit to zoom out but that's that's basically the the subset scene um, so there's your camera there and all it's doing whoops so all it's doing is um, viewing viewing through the cylinder onto the background and I've got the the background parented to the camera so if you move go back into um, your camera view again move around it will just keep parenting it'll just stay in one spot so that's what the basics of, of that is um, we'll get to the the cylinder it's got many um, many shape morphs you can you can move and different amount of things you can create different backgrounds and um, but we'll get we'll get to that later on okay so that's the first thing you'll see in the in the the background we'll back the content the next one will be a half cylinder Again, these are just in um, default positions. They all um, they all have um, different types of uh, morphs with it. Um, also, there is um, I have um, this is set up for Easy Snap as well, and the way you would do that will just a so the way you would um, set up your Easy Snap settings is you would select say um, your Rotate tool, okay. Now um, I've got. Um, by default it, it's turned off but I've got it on 30 degrees for 30 degree rotations click enable so when it um, rotates it goes in increments of um, 30 it actually only needs to be set to 90 because it's um, the snap, it's snap settings are for um, 90 degrees but it's easier to rotate if it's set at 30 um, now the settings for this may not be open by default so if you um, go into where are we tools under your panels tab win go under windows panels tab and make sure that your um, tool settings is turned on 
and it'll be it'll come up in a in a panel like this so that's how you'll access your um, your your settings also for um, movement I've got by default that'll be turned off as well and what I um, usually set this to is um, 250 centimeters so now if I pull in say another half cylinder and drag it whoops oh yeah you've got to be a bit you may have to make sure you select that from here because sometimes it's a bit difficult to select when they're on top of each other so you'll have to select them through that because I've got the bottom one set to a certain morph shape uh, I think is it path one or path two right now it's path two so now you've got them both set up the the same way you'll drag click on your your transition tool and then you, as you can see it, it'll line up perfectly now this will be this will be the same for all um, all your pieces of um, all your elements that you use to build and construct your own worlds and interfaces so but that's just the basics of um, the easy snap Right, the next element on the agenda is the full the full cylinder. So click on it to load it. Now that this will come with a load of um, different morphs. Um, things like whirlpool. Now this really is designed to use with the the background camera so it's got to be shooting down the length of it to get the effect uh, thin tube that's pretty obvious you just move it in and out taper it's all but sort of um, bizarre <laughs> Bizarre um, stars is a different one. That's a quite a nice morph. That one. They all work in reverse, so you can get unpredictable effects as well. Spiral. Explode. That's a that's a really good one for sci-fi backgrounds as well. Spiral. Yeah, you just got to be um, a bit careful with some of them because obviously in reverse it can be a bit pred unpredictable how they're going to turn out. Spin will just spin each element just say 30 degrees in each direction. Where dots will just shrink it, shrink it down, make it bigger or smaller in in the spot coming apart it's like an explo explosion and again you can there are all sorts of um, things you can do Aztec I'm not sure what that is that's that'll that's a it's similar but it does different things and of course these are for just straight if you're just having a straight path um, half round that's another one bend I think you can these do match up but it's pretty difficult uh, to get them to work sometimes let's see if I put another one in And let's say I uh, I rotate him, 
and then we'll um, we'll move it so there you can see it m matches up perfectly well it, it's not absolute perfect if you zoom in it'll probably be a fraction out but it's pretty close close enough that you can't notice it and so you could uh, you could have um, make another another tube again there drag it along here so if you wanted to create a like a loop or an animation then it would it would work I'm pretty sure you can all right yep yeah. So half cylinder and cylinder do match up with each other. I'll just we'll just have a look at um, the full cylinder again with this. Right, so that will match up as well. We can put the bend on that, and we can also rotate it. And move it up into position. I hope it doesn't make a liar out of it. Right here. So it does. So the bends and that all match up as well. Well, there you go. Some things <laughs> I don't even know that they're in there, and they are. So they do match up. Um, so that's really um, just displays the main part of the cylinders. Um, I hope you get a lot out of those. You, I'd love to see what you guys um, create. The next part of the the set is the um, hex base. Now this is just pretty well much for your floor elements. And this as well will have a, a heap of um, different morphs um, you'll have just things that'll hide them so you can just have straight decks in one way or another way you can just have them disappear reappear if you're doing animations with this and a few different styles there to, if you want to change the look of them Yeah, it um, a few different. Um, this one's not is really only meant to be on the flat floor, and, and it will. They this one does match up as well, but there's a bit of an overlap on um, where it matches up. So, so not perfect, but. Um, But it's good for the, um, they should match up pretty good on the sides as well. You just have two overlapping each other. Okay, the next one is the sphere. The sphere is really, <coughs> it doesn't really do much. It's more there for decorations. It's a hexagonal, <coughs> hexagonal sphere. Sorry, um, it doesn't come with any morphs. I'm, uh, I'm afraid it's just a, a straight prop, and you just place that in the scene where you you would like. And the main element, which is this guy here. He'll come with um, quite a few morphs as well. Um, some of the 
Uh, one of the elements is this this guy here. This is um, just like a control element on the on the screen, and you can um, just move that up and down and across the screen. But there, it's limited to the main screen, so you just got to be careful with with that. Now most of my elements are built off of this this actual screen and it, and it's by combining different morphs, different shapes that I um, create all the um, subsets for it. So they'll be like various lengths you um, bridge lengths and you can actually hide the the bridge and make it a single single set or if you want to hide the element in there keypads can be hidden as well Most elements can be hidden, and and you it's up to you how you want to look at it. You hide the left or right. You can close the sides uh, totally around it if you want to. So um, that's the basic of the um, the main elements. Um, in the next tutorial, in the next um, demo, I'll show you the um, the subsets. Thanks for watching.